Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today I'm really excited to talk about a major update that came to Craft. For those of you who don't know Craft, it is an app that came out from nowhere and I reviewed this back in December 2020. It was really impressive already back then, the quality they built there, the new style and design look and so on. And today they just published a new update where you can integrate your calendar now and have a way to task management. And it is, has also some inclusion like the note plan style, if you know this app, for example, how you can manage your task on a calendar and so on. Without further ado, we'll, we'll dive into this now and I will show you on the app tool itself how this looks like so let's dive into this I know whenever I show something like a new tool like craft, people reach out to me, Tom, did you switch now to craft from Notion, for example, to craft? And I tell you this, if you want to test a new tool, the best way is to use a specific project that has enclosed information. So for example, I'm using craft building a new house. We are building a house right now. And this is a start and end of a project and the information building a house is completely disconnected from the information I usually need in Notion when it comes to my business, for example. This allows me to test out tools like Craft. And I thought, okay, Craft really looks good. Let's go for it by using and doing the project building a house inside Craft and see how it looks. So I'm using it for this project for a few months already and I really love it so everything is in there it's so easy to share it with my wife and she has all the information i was able to share it with uh, vendors and so on with the architect and so on going back and forth so this is really great file sharing is really great let's have a look how this looks before we go into the calendar view and i want to show you this first so you better understand what the calendar view is actually all about so here we are in the space what really matters uh, I call this space. And this is not a personal space. If you click here, we, you can create several spaces. And it, in, the difference to Notion is that we actually have a extra spaces like the workspaces in Notion, but we have also personal space. Let's check out the project. All right, so here you see some projects and uh, all relate, or here you see some documents all related to the project building a house. And in here we have selling, you know, selling the house information. And I also have all the information related that I need to build a house. I really love the looks. Okay, so you can add some pictures like this and you can really build this up very nice. So I have a list of to do's up here, what I have to do. I have all the documents that I needed and uh, you know, the architect things. And it always gives me a nice preview of what is actually inside this. So that's called cards and so on. If you join the Paperless Movement membership, there you will learn more about craft because I'm working on this. I'm talking about craft already in there. And there will be also a discount for my members coming to craft as well. And I'm actually working on a course for craft as well. So if you're one of my members, then you know I'm publishing on a regular basis new courses for specific tools that I personally use, or I have partner experts in there who are expert in certain tools that you can reach out to once you are a member. But this is a side note. Now let's dive into what the major update actually means. So as I said, it was already nice that we could navigate and, and build all these nice looking things here. And then you can now go to your personal space. So nobody else can see this part. And we have down here tap with the calendar. And here you can go now to customize and add the calendars. It already works, so you could use this as a calendar and you see already that whenever I go to a different date, I can start taking notes. Note. And whenever you take any notes, you see it here on the side that you made a note on this day. And you see here when you go somewhere else on this square, it's highlighted that there is a note. So let's add another note here. And there it is. See, you see now exactly where the notes are. In my opinion, this can be further improved because when I go, for example, here and I create a task using an X and then task one, you have a task here and this is actually a to do. Yeah, so you have it here on the side and this way you see it's done or not done. And when I, when I check this off, it gives you a hint here. So I would prefer really to see the checkbox up here as well. So it gives you a much easier overview where what tasks do I still have to do? What tasks are already done? Are there some tasks overdue? They already have some indicators there. So when I go into the past and I add checkbox here, task, 
let's say we did this yesterday, you see now an indicator that this is overdue. So it makes it easy scrolling through your list and see what's done and what's overdue. So as soon as I check this off, you see this task is done as well. This is nice already. However, again, I would really love to see the indicator here as well so that that shows up red or something like this because on a mini calendar and maybe even a yearly overview that would be great it is easier to see that so you can also move this up so you have a weekly view up there to have more space so what you can actually do you can integrate your calendars and all you can do right now is integrating your apple calendar so i did this already and when you switch this on you see now all the other calendars that I have here this way when you integrated your Google Calendar account or Google account into your iCloud account, then they will show up here as well. So I can switch them on and see show exactly the calendars that I want to see. Now we have all the events here and whenever I click on this event, I have the option. So let's say we click here. I have the option to make a note meeting note. It will create a new note and then I can start writing test note for example and you see now that this is represented here as a note on this day so this is now part of the daily notes as a sub page and now I can go into the sub page and I see the notes for this event that happened here I also see an indicator on the event itself and when I hover over it I see the details there of this meeting note and this is really nice it's not in adding anything to your calendar but it stays connected even if I now switch off the calendar and switch it back on it will connect back to this event actually I have a test note for example here I can reference this test note and now it's linked to this block so we say meeting notes all right I go now back to my documents all documents and in here I have the test note when we open up the test note here we see the backlink for this meeting notes so it's on the daily notes on the meeting event note and I can click here and I will jump to this note isn't that awesome so I really like the direction this is going because I have backlinks now in my actual notes just think about if you create a new daily note and you mention this in a test no in, in one of your notes it will always appear in your static notes as well so I have here general information in this test note but I can see where I actually always referenced back to this note and I will jump easily to the daily notes this way. This is something that I talk a lot about in my membership as well, leveraging the digital world, because we have many options to actually take daily notes. We could write this down in apps like Notability, GoodNotes and so on, but you always have to go back and search for something or revisit these notes. In this case, you can link it to existing static notes and keep updating them on a daily basis by simply referencing them. And also when I reference another node, there's node two, we can simply create one page this way. Now we have two nodes here and you see this is now referenced to this daily node. So this means I can reference different information in my daily nodes and I always can go back via the backlinks to what I actually what I actually have written there. So to me, this is a big step forward. The only thing uh, I would like to have is that I I'm able to also reference in different spaces the information I have here. I know this might be difficult due to sharing options and so on and who can see what. However, I always like to have a single source of truth and if I have any information in my personal space here, it would be great to reference back to this obviously I can go into this node and then I could just share it with the secret link and paste it then into the other space so I could go to the test space for example I can go here and then I edit here the secret link and there we go test node it's in here we can stay, change the layout for example and we tap here and then it opens up the link in the browser. These are minor things. I think Craft is really in the right direction. So if you really want to learn more about Craft and what else to come, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If, they liked, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll catch you up next time.